From the Tribune News Network, this is Newsbreak. I'm Kirk Smith. Wednesday's top stories. National Security Minister Dems urging would-be voters to remain calm and to ignore the general election guesses. Not following a rush on the parliamentary registration department by persons trying to register, he believes that a weekend statement by PLP leader Davis stating that he believes the prime minister would start the election process as early as this week triggered it. This is the season that we're at. Um, only one person knows knows that day, and and until we hear from that person, I think that we should all be calm and relaxed, uh, and not give in to uh, individuals panicking members of the public. Prime Minister Ministers made no announcement on the date for the general elections, but admits his party is in campaign mode. We have a new deputy to the Governor General, Elma Garraway, sworn in yesterday by the Chief Justice to fill that position. She called it an honor. You were paying more for gas. All three major dealers get increases approved. Shell is now at 513, Esso at 517, Rubus at 518 per gallon. In the capital, that according to the Tribune's gas tracker prices. This is Newsbreak from the Tribune News Network. The coronavirus numbers in the country continue to go up. Another 81 cases confirmed for Monday, 55 in the capital, and a concerning 19 in Grand Bahama. Bimini, Abaco, and Long Island also reported cases. Those hospital numbers continue to be troubling. 83 persons in, 13 in the ICU. Space now becoming a factor. The death toll remains 274. Health Minister Wells says the surge is not a surprise, really, because of the Independence Day holiday gatherings. Despite the increase in the numbers, right now, he says, there are no plans to extend the state of emergency when it expires on August 13th. We move basically on the recommendation of our health team. Um, I do not believe that there's any recommendation from them. Minister Wells says they're hoping to get more vaccines shortly to help deal with this situation. He believes that vaccination is the only way out of this. Details of the day's top stories in the Tribune newspaper on the streets first thing in the morning. Stay up to date online at Tribune242.com. Now the Tribune's AccuWeather update, a service of insurance management, no major systems in the area, partly sunny and nice, highs in the upper 80s, 88 at Freeport, 89 in the capital, 88 at Matthew Town. No marine advisories, winds generally 10 to 15 knots, the seas 2 to 4 feet, High tide now, the next low around noon. Turning partly cloudy tonight, lows from the upper 70s to low 80s. No systems in the tropics. If you need additional weather information, check the Tribune's weather page. For your insurance needs, call insurance management. We're now in the hurricane season. Insurance management urges you to check your preparations and ensure that your home and contents coverage is up to date. Call them today. With more than 40 years in business, Nobody does it better than insurance management. This is Newsbreak from the Tribune News Network. Do you want to increase your sales? Then advertise your business in the Tribune, the leading newspaper in circulation. Reach the market that will keep your registers ringing. Give your business the maximum exposure at an affordable investment. Advertise in our Home Buyer's Guide, Insight, Women, or Obituary sections. Let us help you get your business to the Bahamas and to the world with our online advertising spots. Professional advertising reps are waiting to offer you advertising packages to suit your budget. And consultations are free. The Tribune, your answer to increased sales. Call our sales department today, 502-2394, or visit us on Shirley Street. The Tribune, the people's paper, biggest and best. Wednesday's World News headlines the Olympic Games now underway in Tokyo. Softball starting it. The opening ceremony is scheduled for Friday. There are COVID concerns, though. Several athletes have tested positive for the virus in the Games Village. Officials say the Games will go on, but... They could cancel them at any time if that's needed. Weather continues to make news. Heavy rains in central China triggering flooding and mudslides. At least 16 persons are confirmed dead. Thousands are stranded. Wildfires continue to burn out of control in the U.S. state of Oregon. The whole region has been hit by high temperatures and fires over the past couple of weeks. Tribune's gas tracker prices, Shell 513, that's up 4 cents. SO 517, up 11 cents. Rubus $5.18, that's up 17 cents on the gallon price. Now your sports notes brought to you by the Tribune Sports Section. The Olympics underway. The Tribune reporting on our team in Tokyo. 
find out who was scheduled to carry the flag at Friday's opening ceremony. Disappointment for DeAndre Ayton on the Suns in the NBA Finals. The Bucks win the championship in six games. Read the details in the Tribune Sports. Jazz is out of the lineup for the Marlins, and they lose again in Washington. Get the Major League Baseball details and find out what boxer Torino Johnson is up to, all in the Tribune Sports Wednesday. For all of your sports details, you want to check the Tribune Sports section. Everything you need from the world of sports, you'll find in the Tribune Sports. And that's your news break. Details of the day's top stories. In the Tribune newspaper, on the streets first thing in the morning, stay up to date online at Tribune242.com.